Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Today's topic is going to be help. I'm in a flare-up, right? I think it's time to do another video on flare-ups. Basically a sudden increase in symptoms. And I get that question so much. And I find people saying, I'm in a struggle. I've, had, I've been in a flare-up for, you know, today, days, weeks, months, right? So we're going to talk about flare-ups. And we'll address the help. What do I do? So. First, relax your body. Step one of a flare-up. Let your body relax. Put a smile on your face. Know it's temporary. Let your breathing slow down. Because when your breathing slows down, your thinking slows down. One of the common traits of a flare-up is that our thinking speeds up and goes faster and faster and faster. And generally when we're in a flare-up, what happens to our logical thought? It's out the window, right? So, help them in a flare-up. So yes, step one. Don't panic. Don't freak. Why? Nobody ever got better by freaking out. So if you, if you experience a sudden increase in symptoms, don't panic. When we start to understand what makes up a flare-up, or what causes a flare-up, it can become easier, not easy, but easier not to panic. So let's first understand the perception of danger determines whether or not pain is turned on at all. And the intensity of the perceived danger will determine the intensity of the pain or symptom level. So if you're going along, you know, moderate levels of symptoms and all of a sudden through the roof, sometimes it just happens. Whammo, right? That's because the brain perceived a high degree of danger, right? Sometimes the symptoms will start to go up. And whether or not they continue to go up and go up and shoot up high, or whether or not they go up a little bit and then come back down, depends on your response to the slight increase in symptoms. Remember, if the symptoms go like this, the brain's perceiving more danger. If the symptoms start out by going like this, you have two choices. I can either respond with fear, oh no, is this another flare-up coming? In which case, it's going to continue to go up. Or you could respond with calm, oh, I know what that is. Hey, brain, we're not playing that today. I know, I know we're fine. I'm fine. You're fine. We're not in trouble. And in many cases, I hear stories from people all the time, in many cases, symptoms started to go up. They responded calm with clarity, certainty, accurate knowledge that, hey, brain, we're not playing that game. And it can come down. All right? So, if your symptoms start out a little bit up, my first statement of don't panic can absolutely short circuit the flare-up. It may not even get significantly high, and it may start to come right back down soon. But let's say you're in a flare-up. It's way up high. You've been in there, in that flare-up for a while, hours, days, weeks, whatever it may be, months even. The same reasons for it apply. If you've been in a flare-up of high degree of symptoms, You've got a high degree of fear consciously, and it's absolutely at the subconscious level as well. You've got a high degree of perceived danger. Again, foundationally, what causes symptoms? Perceived danger. TMS, right? Does this apply to me? Hopefully you've done the assessments. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Do them. Is this PDP.com? Go do them. Get certainty so you can remind yourself and reassure yourself, I'm actually okay. Is this PDP.com? 
So let's say you've been in a flare-up for a while. Good question to ask yourself is, what are my fear levels? If the answer is terrified, that's why your symptoms are way up here. If you want them to settle down, down to here, we got to do something about that terror. And accurate knowledge is, in my experience and observation from countless people, um, bringing the fear level down is the fastest way to influence the brain to bring the symptom level down. It's the way it works, folks. This is how the system works. You know, hey, kitty. What's up, Fitty? Psst, 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 psst. Hi, what are you doing? Are you going to say hi to the camera? Guess not. But, um, so when you're in a big flare-up, the best response is, don't freak out, don't panic, and uh, move directly into calm reassurance, clarity. Maybe even play with the brain a little bit. Hey, brain, come on, cut that out. We're not in trouble. We're definitely not in trouble. What are you doing, bud? Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, so respond calmly with clarity. Know that you're okay. Know that you're fine. The sooner you respond calmly with accurate knowledge and accurate reassurance, the sooner your symptoms are going to settle down. So it doesn't matter if you've been in a flare-up for five hours, five days, five weeks, five months. The solution's all the same, folks. Safety. Show and tell your brain we're actually safe. So how do you show your brain? By thinking, acting, and behaving as if you're actually okay. If you're terrified and in the in a you know panic position on the bed, not not being willing to move, you're not conveying safety. Your behavior of laying prone like this, terrified to move, I don't even want to roll over, let alone do anything. Trust me, I've been there. I've been to the point where, ooh, I don't even want to get up. Ooh, that's going to be awful, right? Been there, done that. I even got the t-shirt. So, show your brain you're actually okay with your thoughts, actions, behavior words. Um, somebody today acknowledged that they used to call somebody and they would, in their words, complain about how bad their pain was and they would cry to their friend or family member or whomever they called. And I can assure you and I did assure this person in today's coaching call that that's not going to teach your brain that you're okay. All you're doing is confirming the brain's perception that we're in trouble by your behavior. Now, I am not judging this person. I am not shaming them or blaming them. I'm just encouraging them to notice. Right? Yesterday's video was about awareness. That's the starting point. To notice, oh, this is how I'm responding. And this person, admittedly, has begun to shift from that. While they're tempted to make a phone call and cry to their friends or family, They've begun not to do that, which is a turn in the right direction. So not calling anybody out, uh, singling this person out, because they are absolutely making progress on dialing down the fear. But flare-ups, they're nothing more than the brain perceiving danger. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do too much, right? It's not proof that this isn't working. It's just proof that flare-ups happen, right? Somebody else asked, is this normal? You know, do they happen? Yes, of course they do. Why? Because we're human. And the brain's perception of danger can change moment to moment. It's our job to be consistently calm, reassuring, and almost indifferent to say, well, if the symptoms go up, so what? Symptoms always come back down. If they go up, they can come down. If you want them down sooner, do a really good job of neutralizing that fear sooner with the accurate knowledge of what causes symptoms and the fact that that applies to you, and therefore I don't have to be concerned. Flare-ups. If you're in a point where you're saying, help, I'm in a flare, don't panic.
Panic is not your friend. Don't freak out. Nobody ever got better by freaking out. Remind yourself of the foundational principles that perceived danger is what's creating the symptom and the flare, and therefore safety is the solution. How can I jump to safety immediately instead of getting caught up in the fear and the merry-go-round and the thinking, thinking, thinking? Look, rational thought goes offline. One of the things that I've taught a while ago is to have a game plan. So create a flare game plan. What do I do in a flare? Watch this video again. Take notes. That's your game plan. Right? Don't wait until you're in a flare-up until your rational thinking left the building and then wonder, what do I do? Go back, watch the video, take notes, and write on an index card, flare-up game plan. And then keep that with you. And if you should run into that, pull it out. Rational thought doesn't have to be involved. Step by step. So, I'm going to leave this one there. But if you're in a pain flare-up, or you're worried about the next one, pay attention to this. Write that pain flare or symptom flare game plan. Because this is how the system works. And if you work within the framework of how the system works, you're going to be much more effective at influencing your own brain to dial symptoms down. So, love you, and uh, as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.